what to do when you switch over to solids. You are going to have to get the poop out of the diaper into the toilet before you put it in the wash. I'm gonna show you how we clean our cloth. How I. Hold on one second. I've definitely cleaned a few poopy diapers on there. You sprayed them off? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Thank you. I messed it up. Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talk about pregnancy, I talk about motherhood, I talk about all the things. I'm a little granola, a little hippie, so you're gonna get things like elimination communication where you potty train your infant or attempt to or Montessori or floor beds if you're into that kind of stuff please subscribe please like this video today I'm gonna to talk about cloth diapering and update I have an entire video about when we started it it's got really good beginner stuff so if you I would recommend watching that video I'll put a little blurb up and then this video to kind of elaborate on things I have an eight month old and I'm using the natural light so sometimes it changes now she's eating solids or like real food so her poop has changed when she's exclusively breastfed. The poop is like not bad. It doesn't smell bad. It's also water soluble, meaning it can just go in your washing machine because it just goes away with the water. Once she starts eating solids, it doesn't go away with the water. So you need to do something to get rid of it. So that's what we're going to talk about. Cloth diapering when you want to start can be so overwhelming. The things that you really need from the get is just to decide what kind of diaper. There are two diapers that I would recommend. An all-in-one, which is what I have here, and it looks like this. Open it up, you've got two little like flappy things that just go like that. Pocket diaper is just gonna be, there's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's almost gonna be like this. So it's just gonna be smooth here, and then you shove the liners inside a little pocket. Those would be the two that I would recommend. The other ones have like two different pieces. It's all up to what you want to do. I'm gonna explain why these, I might have chose something different. So you need to choose which diaper you want, and then you need to get a way to hold it. We use this laundry bin. And then I strap it in like this. I will link both of these things on my blog. This is a wet bag. So basically it keeps anything contained in here. And I just strap it on there. I used to put a little target bag here for like the disposable wipes. So I just go boop, put the dirty diapers here, and then like regular laundry just in the bin. We do 80% cloth diapering, 20% disposable diapers. We use disposable diapers overnight. One night we, she, I thought she was going down for a nap and she ended up just sleeping. And she was in a cloth diaper and it like, it went everywhere. You need extra layers. My cloth diapering guru said she just does disposables at night because she was sick of changing sheets. So I know that a lot of people do the cloth and it works. You decide there, but we do disposables at night and then we size up. If she's like on the cusp of a size, it's always a size up because it will hold more. And then if we're gone majority of the day, I will just do disposables. You can also do wet bags. So this is what a wet bag looks like. It's similar to that, but it's just smaller. And then you just put your dirty diapers in there, and then when you get home, you throw it in the wash. These diapers are from like eight pounds till they're basically out of diapers. I think it's, I don't know, 35 pounds. That's what all these snaps are for. These make the diaper smaller so that it makes the little leg hole smaller. And then as they get bigger, you don't need to do that. And then the buttons are on the, I talk about this in my first video. The buttons are on the top are like that. They also have infant ones. So these are adorable. Just tiny itty bitty diapers for the infants. They have the same thing where you can make them smaller or bigger. Would I start from the time that they were born? If someone's gonna lend these to you, you could start from the get. But a lot of people that do cloth diapering just do disposables for the infant stage so that they don't have to have two lots of diapers because these are not cheap. I got mine, I got 24 diapers for $200 off of Facebook Marketplace. You just wanna make sure that the elastic is still, still good because that's what will go. And if you're super savvy, you can replace the elastic. I am not. The other time that we use disposables is when she gets a rash. And honestly, when we first made the transition, she got a rash and I think it was because her bottom was just too wet because there's no little line that indicates when to change the diaper. So I usually just change it every two hours or like after she eats, after she naps, after she does an activity. But since then she has not gotten a rash at all. And they say that these are blow up proof. I think it depends on your elasticity. Nothing ever comes out the top, but sometimes I think it's come out the side. And if you get breastfed poop stains on cloth diapers or clothing, Put it on the sun and the sun will get rid of it. I don't know how, but it happens. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors think I'm insane. What to do when you switch over to solids. You are going to have to get the poop out of the diaper 
into the toilet before you put it in the wash. I didn't want the pocket diapers initially because I didn't want to have to deal with pulling out the liners. But when you spray these off, it's really frustrating because this piece will fall in. So this sits in the toilet water and that's disgusting. So I do my best to like pull it up and just like hold it, spray this, and then spray that. But then stuff, stuff gets in here, it's just a mess. So if it was all just like this, and you just have to pull out a liner and then spray that off, it would be easier, I would think. But I don't have any pocket diapers, so I don't know for sure. I will show you my spray thing that I have. There. Oh, hey, didn't know you were coming. Oh, what are you doing today? I'm trying not to get the whole bathroom because it's kind of a mess. We're moving. Okay, I'm gonna show you how we clean our cloth. How I. Cloth you are diapers. correct because <laughs> cloth diapers was your idea. Hold on one second. I've definitely cleaned a few poopy diapers on there. You sprayed them off? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Thank you. I messed it up. It all got caught in the like little trap and then I had to empty the side pockets that were filled with water, if you know what I'm talking about. Show me how to avoid that. That's good that you said that so that I can show that. So here are our cloth diapers. None of them are poopy, so that's really that's great. That's such a great setup. Did you think of that yourself? Did you do that? You must have done it. Did you do it? I can't remember. I probably did it. You did it. Yeah. You did it. The thing that I am realizing there is the all-in-one diaper, which is what this is with the two flaps. I should have grabbed a clean one. And then there's a pocket diaper that just looks like this. And there's not all of these like layers. It's just that and then you like stuff inserts in it. The pros are you can just spray it off like this and there's not things that fall down. But the con is that there's more like pieces and you have to stuff it and pull out the inserts. I like the ones we have. Okay, great. So I bought something called a diaper pail. Can we get a good, we installed this. It's like a bidet. So spray pail is what it's called. It comes with this and this. When I wash these, this can fill with water and it just doesn't empty, which is disgusting. So I try and hold it here. Then I'll take this handy dandy spray pail. I never clip it in there. I just hold it. And then I spray off any of the poop. And this is what I mean. Can you see these little? You gotta get in here sometimes to like get the poo, which is what gets really complicated. Sometimes you just gotta go like this, spray that off, try not to get in that pocket because it doesn't drain. And then see, it can go down all the way down to the toilet, so that's gross. Let's do another diaper. So to avoid that thing from falling down, I usually just pin it with my finger. Spray this off, spray a little bit off on the edge that needs to, and maybe I'll like kind of try and get in there like this and spray it instead of having that fall down. Then, this took me a really long time to realize because I was like, well, how am I gonna get this from here into the dryer with, without dripping? I don't know why it took me so long, but I just make sure to keep that wet bag close by. I don't think this is waterproof, but it'll hold it for a while. So I, I usually just use this to transport it to the washing machine. Let's go do that really quickly. So one thing that I learned is that you want to go like this when you open them. Try to open them up when you throw them in. Hi. <laughs> When she had breast fed poop, I would do a rinse cycle to get rid of all the poop, then I would wash it, and then I would rinse it again. Now that I spray out the poop, I just do a, a wash and then a rinse cycle. I hope that's helpful. It is. Thanks. We have started elimination communication, so I hardly ever have poopy diapers anymore. I maybe have like one or two a week. Because once she started solids, she pooped every other day instead of every single day. That was another big difference. Once they start eating solids, it's also a lot stinkier. We used like a diaper genie that worked with these wet bags. I'll also put that link below. Once they start solids, I got these liners that you put in their diaper and then it allows you to just like pick it up and throw it away. But I've never used them actually, so I don't know how effectively they work. I didn't know when she was gonna poop and I wasn't gonna use this every single time that I did a diaper. This felt like more stuff than just spraying it out. I also bought some cloth wipes. So those just look, I got little baby ones like this. Again, I'll link this below. <laughs> I hate saying it'll be linked below. It just feels like a lot, but it's really helpful, I hope. I use these mostly if she has a wet diaper. So I'll like pat her dry. This is easier because I just throw it in the dirty um, diapers and I don't have to have like a disposable and a laundry. It's just simpler, but like I said, I catch most of it on a toilet so I don't use disposable wipes that often. You can buy bigger ones too. I don't know, I just felt like the little one hand was easier. And I kind of touched on where do I store them. So this is what my setup looks like. 
It's the laundry bin with the wet bag. Like I said, you can get the diaper genie if you want to put them in something that'll like seal the smell up a little bit more. If you want to put them in something that'll like seal the smell up a little bit more. When I wash them, I wash the diapers. I have 24 of them and I wash them about every other day, especially now that we're doing elimination communication because when I have her try to go potty, I just throw that in the hamper so it might still be dry. Look up a wash cycle. I honestly don't think I do it right, but it works for me. It's a top loader. I put, I do a hot wash and then a rinse and I put some soap in there so the rinse takes out all the soap and it works. And then I uh, dry them on low. I used to do vinegar and in the first video I recommend doing vinegar. Somebody said that takes out the elasticity so I stopped doing that. Another person asked if you have to dress them differently because it's so bulky on their butt. Yes. <laughs> she's around like 12 months right now and she's only 8 months. Just because the booty's so big and if you have joggers that have the longer crotch those are even better and those are trendy right now so it's perfect but i love it like our washing machine broke one week and i had to use all disposables and i could not wait to get back to cloth diapering i just think it's it's just easier you just i don't know it's once you like get your system it's so much easier and i'm glad that we did it and then i get to use these for eventually a baby number two and i just think they're great so i just have mine ocd organized in this little caddy that sits in our living room. Go check out the old video to get some basic tips. If you want to take it out and about, you just need a little mini wet bag. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.